Hey guys, we're back again. We're working on our uh, yellow brick road. We are done our starter five. We've done our glick and now we're in our avpu. Right now we're going to talk about if a person's alert and oriented times three doing a focus history physical exam. Um, in a previous video, we broke out that you look at their eyes, see if they're alert. If they're not alert, you check to see if they're responding to voice. If they don't respond to voice, you check and see if they're responding to pain. If not, then they're unresponsive. What we're going to focus on right now is if they are alert and oriented times three, and we've talked about paraphrases already, uh, go look for a different video on paraphrases. Uh, you're going to do a focus history physical exam. The way you do that is through an acronym called SAMPLE. SAMPLE stands for signs and simple. Sim oh, I can't talk. Signs and symptoms. A sign is something you see and a symptom is something they tell you. For every sign and symptom, you have to have an O P Q R S T. O is for onset, so you have to have a paraphrase for your onset. Your onset is when did this start? So all of a sudden you're talking to this person, hey, what's your name? How old are you? What year is this? They're alert and learning times three. And then from there, basically what you do is you say, what's going on today? What made you call an ambulance? Once you've gotten that established, then you're going to say, hey, when did this start? And they'll tell you. Does anything, P is for provocation, does anything make it better or worse? So you want to say, hey, all right, you having chest pain, when did that start? Does anything make it better or worse? Then what you want to do is say, say describe it for me. Q is for quality. And the paraphrase is uh, describe it for me. So you want to say, hey, describe what it feels like. And then R is for region and radiation. You want to say, can you tell me exactly where it hurts and does it go anywhere else? And then S is for severity. On a scale of 1 to 10, T being the worst pain you've ever felt, what is your pain right now? And then T is for time. Time is different than onset. Time is how many times has this happened? When was the last time this happened? And, and how many times, um, when was the previous time before this? I just messed that up. Um, A is for allergies. Are you allergic to anything? M is for medications. Do you take any medications? P is pertinent past history. Do you have any medical problems I need to know about? Are you a heart patient? Do you have diabetes? Have you ever had a seizure or a stroke? Do you take high blood pressure medicine? And then E is events leading up to it. That's where you ask, hey, what were you doing when all this started? So this is a focused history physical exam. The only time you can do a focused history physical exam is when they are alert and oriented times three. If they're confused at all, you cannot, cannot do this whatsoever. So that's all I got for today on this. Uh, remember, PPE scene safe, number of patients, MOI, NOI, additional resources, general impression, life threats, introduction, consider C-spine, AVPU, alert, response to voice, response to pain, unresponsive. If they're alert, what's your name, how old are you, what year is this? If they're alert and oriented times three, hey, what's going on today? When did that start? Does anything make it better or worse? Can you describe it to me? Does it go anywhere else on a scale of one to 10? And have you ever had this before? Are you allergic to any medications? Do you Are you allergic to anything? Do you take any medications? Any pertinent past history I need to know about? When was the last time you had anything to eat, drink, or anything um, related to a last disposition? And then events leading up to it. Y'all have a great day and I'll talk to you soon.